Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. At the outset, I would like to thank the organizers of this important forum for inviting me to talk to you today and share a few remarks regarding Qatar's uh, experience in the field of mediation and dispute resolution. I listened uh, carefully to the remarks made by the previous distinguished speakers, and indeed, conflicts of different uh, types and degrees of complexity do exist these days. States and intergovernmental organizations do play and continue to play a very important role in trying to help the parties to sort all sorts of conflicts to find peaceful solutions. In this spirit, I will frame my remarks today. I will be brief. My country has been recognized globally for its role as an international mediator in a variety of disputes between states and a high cooperation with regional and international partners. It's also worth noting that Qatar itself has benefited from the mediation that it participated in. Qatar's foreign policy relies on strong bilateral and multilateral alliances and finding solutions to conflicts through dialogue and mediation with, respect, with respecting the sovereign rights of all countries. In addition, Qatar respects and honors all international treaties and convention in which it is a party. The UN Charter provides that all members shall settle their international disputes by peaceful means. Nowadays, mediation is explicitly referred to as means of dispute resolution in most bilateral and multilateral treaties. The settlement of the disputes involve a series of delicate techniques. International law recognize, recognizes an extensive list of methods of dispute resolution, which are divided into two main categories, diplomatic and judicial methods. Each of them have its own practice and features. Mediation is the second most used diplomatic peaceful means for for the settlement after direct negotiation. Mediation can be defined as a non-binding, flexible, voluntarily, and confidential process in which a third neutral party actively assists in the settlement of a dispute. Undoubtedly, a key feature in the mediation is the mediator. Mediation can be performed by the representatives of states or the non-government organizations by an intergovernmental organizations or its officials, such as the, the Secretary General of the United Nations or by the respected and distinguished person. The duty of a mediator is clearly, as can be clarified, that the position of each party and to improve the dynamics and to make sure that the resolution of the disputes can be smooth and effective. As a figure of the mediator, the mediator is vested, it's important that the mediator is vested with objectivity, independence, neutrality, and discretion. The major duty is to carefully transmit the proposals of one party to another. And for this reason, the mediator has a very important role in facilitating the process of for the parties, especially in situation where the relations between the parties reach an impasse. The proactive involvement of the mediator can substantively contr uh, contribute to the success of the mediation. Mediation of interstate disputes offers several advantages to the parties. Flexibility, necessity of a consent, the opportunity of the parties to have control over the process, understand the conflict better, and keep the communication open. On top of that, demonstrating the importance of associating the work with the development of the concerned country. 
this does not come without challenges. Challenges such as flexibility may be restricted by the will and the readiness of the parties to cooperate with the mediator. The consent of the parties is necessary before operating under the mediation process. The lack of, of enforcement is also another challenge that many countries are facing under the mediation process. There's a huge difference between the international disputes that is resolved under the mediation or the legal-based dispute adjudication. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, having highlighted the most important characteristics of the mediation in this context of the dispute, I feel compelled to provide you with a brief overview of the mediation undertaken by my country. Qatar strongly believes in the, in the role of the mediation. Article 7 of the Constitution of Qatar clearly states that Qatar's foreign policy is based on the principles of strengthening international peace and security by ways of encouraging peaceful resolution of international disputes, placing mediation at the heart of Qatar's foreign policy. The, this further reinforced by Qatar's culture and religion. Over the past 15 years, states have recognized Qatar's neutrality and dispute settlements culture. Some example of that efforts could include Doha uh, mediated and contributed on the conclusion of a truce in 2008 and 2010 among Yemeni governments and the Houthi rebels in order to prevent further killing of the Yemenis. In the same year, Qatar ended the presidential vacuum in Lebanon in coordination with other important stakeholders, which ended an 18-month-long political crisis. With regard to the situation in Darfur, Qatar continued to uh, contributed to the adoption of the Doha document for peace in Darfur in 2011. In 2020, uh, Qatar facilitated a peace agreement between the transitional government in Sudan and Sudan's armed movements that led into signing an agreement. In 2011, Doha also succeeded in an intense effort in helping both the governments of Djibouti and Eritrea to conclude a peace agreement through the border disputes. In 2021, Qatar also helped both Somalia and Kenya for their, uh, to resume their diplomatic relations after several mediation efforts by the state of Qatar. By capitalizing on those previous examples, Qatar's also continue to work on a several ongoing mediation efforts. Understanding the cultural background is very essential for any mediator. A good example will be the situation in Afghanistan. With a good faith, seriousness, transparency, naturality, vis-a-vis -vis the disputant, Qatar has been successful in reaching several mediation efforts to reach a peaceful agreement, notably the peace agreements between the United States and Taliban. In Iran, Qatar remains a traditional partner when it comes to the facilitation of talks between Iran and other countries. Last year only, Qatar facilitated an indirect talks that happened between uh, representatives of Tehran and Washington. Chad, last year we have hosted also the peace talks between the important stakeholders in Chad, which resulted in a peaceful deal between the different parties. In Palestine, Qatar's continuous efforts to uh, reconciliation among the Palestinians and a numerous cease of fire has been agreed by the efforts, by the contribution and the strong efforts of Qatar in 2009, 2012, 14, and 2021. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, in conclusion, interstate mediation is a complex means of dispute settlement, which, it is, if used wisely, can be successful to prevent disputes among different nations. Support and strengthen efforts to reduce anticipated humanitarian needs during emergencies is also essential. On several occasions, due to the complexity surrounding conflicts, states may be reluctant 
to identify the root of the problem itself or even accept different opinions. This is where the mediation can play a very effective role. A trusted and a neutral mediator can play a very important role by bringing the parties together, listen to them very carefully, and propose peaceful settlements to the conflicts. Sustainability of the agreements is also essential. One of the crucial lessons that Qatar have, have learned out of, out of the period is the importance of sustaining the agreements that Qatar has participated in. I strongly suggest that the states and international community further promote strong uh, regulatory frameworks favoring mediation in the international relations and regional conflicts and differences must be addressed wisely and patiently with the aim to protecting further generations. I thank you very much.